Generic greetings and welcome back to Airships Conquer the Skies. Once again in the previous episode we fought dragons which was a fairly tough fight but we did manage to uh, finally defeat them after a second attempt. We also managed to take some more territory which we didn't, didn't expect and most importantly we managed to we managed to uh, react with our Charger version 2s to everything that this guy's been sending at us and the main thing is that we're intercepting them. So we're not waiting for them to go to our points, we're actually intercepting them, which is good. Uh, what we want to do this episode is make some inroads onto this guy's territory here, the pink guy on the left, and that's exactly what we're doing now. So. They have one defensive structure, we have two Coventries and a York. I'm going to move the York down there, and I'll move the Coventries as high as they can go, and then start the fight, we'll say move, and then we'll go over to uh, about there. And um, apparently something's broken, there you go, that's, that's probably what was there originally. Uh, they've surrendered straight away, so we'll go for a gentle takeover, and we're not going to stop. We're just going to keep going forward. In fact, we've got enough money to build another York, so I'm going to... Um, Oh, I could train a dragon rider, though. Yeah, why not? Let's train a dragon rider. Because um, that's interesting. So, we'll take out... Oh, this is Woundford. And they have... Ah, they have aerial hazards. Now, this could give us some problems. Because I don't think we have anything that can really deal with that. Other than our biplanes and other aerial, aerial hazards, you understand. Because I think they can fight each other. But... This is a new one for us. We're normally used to fighting high-level stuff. So, what we might need to do at some point is make something with um, like a Gatling gun or flak or something because you can see that these guys are just coming straight towards us however we are intercepting them there we go there's the aerial hazard fight <laughs> yeah we've got more we have a lot more but they do have rifles which means my York class and all of its crew are not going to fare too well although no, they're not faring too well. Also, there's a hell of a lot of missiles coming in, which um, is not exactly a healthy environment for <laughs> a healthy environment for um, the raiders and the planes. That's going to be a, a gentle takeover once more as well, uh, and we'll take this town because we might as well. So yes, I think some sort of I wouldn't say a flak vessel, but ideally, some sort of um, some sort of vehicle that can uh, take out a lot of flying units. Oh, they've just fully surrendered. I didn't expect that. That was a town. Uh, gentle takeover again. So we've taken out these three straight away. Okay, that's interesting. Uh, let's just check our technology. Uh, do we have mini guns? I don't think we do. In fact, I know we don't, because uh, Gatling guns are there. And Gatling guns is what I was hopefully going to use. So we don't have that. So what's the best way of taking them out? Well, let's just go over to design ship, and we'll have a look at the weapons that we have at our disposal. So bomb is not entirely conducive to removing um, aeroplanes, historically. Um, unless they're on the ground. Cannon. No. Cowcatcher ram. Again, uh, this isn't Crimson Skies. As much as I'd like it to be Crimson Skies, it isn't Crimson Skies. We're not going to be ramming them out of the way. Dorsal turret, no. Grand ram, yes, but only if we're really annoyed. Uh, grape shot cannon, yes or yes. That's the way forward. Grenades, no. Harpoon gun, um... <laughs> <laughs> Small cannon that fires a harpoon with tether, useful for closing distances between your ship and the target. No. Uh, massive rocket. Well, that removes everything, including the target that it's on, because that does that has a tendency to explode. Muskets? Yes. A lot. Uh, actually, no. Muskets, rifles. And that's it. So, well, rockets? No. Ram spike? No. Ventral turret? No. Okay. So, basically, we're talking, we're talking, like, the muskets and rifles. I think so. I think so. Um, leave without saving, yes. Because I want to... I want to... Probably wait until I've got some more tech. We're going for these air dragoons and grappling hooks. The happenings we've seen there... Actually, do we have happenings? Let me check something. Um, design ship. Troops. Yes, yeah, so that's the 
that's the harpoons from there. Once we get this one, grappling hooks and air, air, air dragoons, the grappling hooks are self-explanatory. They just swing from one to the other so they can uh, not die because sometimes they just jump and then they'll go <laughs> and fly through the air if the ship moves and then hit the ground. Not ideal, obviously. Um, and the air dragoons, I believe, are... Like little, they've got little suspendium jetpacks, so they can they can fly to their target, which is really cool. So we'll have that there. We then want to have aerial torpedoes. I still haven't still haven't uh, got yet. Uh, mech spiders. They are similar. The 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 mechanical spiders. They're bored, but they can't take stuff over. They can only kill. Um, heavy turrets. No, I think I think it is the Gatling guns I want to go for, which means saw blades. Um, so I'm going to say Empire of Science. Because we've got 200 anyway. Uh, and I'm just going to start invading this guy's stuff. Empire of Science. And get our research run right through. Obviously we're going to have to keep an eye on our over here. There's our air dragoons and grappling hooks. We will say we want Gatling guns. So we'll go for saw blades and tracks. And let me just double check something. Um, so we'll say design ship. And there you go. So there's our stuff. So we've got marine barracks, air dragoons, and grenadiers. So the grenadiers are the the grappling hooks. So it says, has this four elite grenadiers with grappling hooks for rapidly boarding enemy ships. So they sort of do a sort of Batman swing type thing. And you've also got the air dragoons, which, uh, as you can see, houses three air dragoons, boarding troops equipped with suspendium backpacks. So they're sort of, it's like the Rocketeer, that um, film that I think is underrated. Although I haven't seen it since I was a lot younger. Um, uncontested victory, gentle takeover. That's in that's I've never seen that before. So they must have no defenses whatsoever. Oh, hang on. Intercept. Oh, hi again. All of these, their standing orders is to board ship, right? So that immediately gets them on the outside. Then what we do is just go down. And he's trying to match the the deceleration, but he's not going to be able to. We're just going to go in front of him, and then boarding. There you go. There's the boarding. Oh, that's an interesting one. So they've got the suspendium, the pressurized suspendium at the top with a walkway there. Pretty good. Pretty good. So one, two, three, four, five, six-ish. No, because that's just dead. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six bombers or six bombers. They've got two two water for some reason as well. That hasn't worked out well for them. Although my board is, uh, haven't had a great time either in this thing. I'll move all of these over, but I don't think there's anything to board. No, that's... That's another... Another... <laughs> oh, no! Technically captured, look! <laughs> the adventure is captured! Yeah, um, it, it's destroyed, isn't it? So, we now have another fighter on the top left. Which is... Oh, against the same uh, sort of thing. That we've seen before. Start the fight. Move that to there. And a victory. That's going to be a gentle takeover. Attack there. I don't think there's much stopping them now. The York is working. It is working. The only reason why we haven't had a great issue... Ah, there we go. It's simply because there's nothing really that's come to be able to defeat it. And what I mean by that is... All of our vessels have a weakness. Boarding is this one. The, reac the reaction vessels, the charges, their weakness is... Um, their lack of longevity. They've got no... They've got no... Stamina, for lack of a better term. They've got very, they've got very little ammo and coal, and they've got, you know, uh, a lot of weak points all over. If they get hit in the wrong place, that's it; they go out. But the whole point is that they're not there for the fight. This thing's weakness is that if you take these out and it becomes grounded, which it can become grounded, I think. If this, I haven't, I haven't actually checked what the service ceiling is with this removed. But if that's removed, then this might be grounded, and then it just destroys itself. It's clusters. Um, immobile, so I don't know what the deal is with that. 
We might have to make a version 2, but... Nah, I don't know. That's the problem. We also, I think we fielded it in the right place as well. It's five grand of sitting back with four cannons and launches its payload, which admittedly, as you can see, most of them are being taken out by these rockets. <laughs> That's the problem. These, uh, the rockets are taking them out. Let's move it closer. <laughs> Take that. Take that. Whoa, hang on. See that? We're getting hit now. And it's going down. Back it up. That's that's the problem, look. As soon as we got close enough for the rifles to start hitting, they've taken that out. Wow, okay, and the keel's just fallen off as well. Wow. Um It's 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 falling apart. Look at that. It's just it's getting rifled to bits. We might lose it. Well, the good news is that its service ceiling's uh, nothing to worry about once it loses the keel and other things. See, so, yeah, I didn't take that into account in the calculation. Obviously, when it loses these, suspendium dust chambers obviously loses... Um, it loses how high it can go, it loses the height. But it also reduces in weight because other things tend to break off. There's a victory. That's going to be a gentle takeover. I'm going to move this down to Bogora, which is the only real town we control fully. But that is everything on the left taken of this other person's. Um, might as well, might as well take Tibby out on the way past. <laughs> then we've got Clockwork Wasps and Stone Guardians to deal with. And, oh, Flack! Right. Interesting. And also... Suspendium rock right in front of us. So I'm going to have to move these down like so. To be quite honest, that's not too much of a problem because I don't really want to be in front of that flak. So I'm going to move forward. And here we go. We do still have all of our borders. Our opponent is weak. We will sweep, sweep them away easily. I'm just hoping I don't go on the arc of that flak. We shouldn't do. We should be about right. You can see, however, anything that goes over the top, the flak's just taken out without any real issue. There you go, look at that, they're all falling out of the sky. That's a victory. And a gentle takeover. I have no doubt that most of this will rebel at some point. Um, and we're going to go for... Sort of deck guns and gallon guns. There we are. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight areas taken over. Wow, okay. Um, we have a spy here. They've got an iron fort. I'm going to... Destroy it. <laughs> Destroy. Oh, look, it's been set ablaze. We could easily take that if we wanted to, but I'm not. Actually, you know what I will do? I will do. And what I'm going to do is split these up. Um, so we've got the Dragon Riders. Invade with the Dragon Riders. And uncontested victory. Yep, there we go. Gentle takeover. <laughs> so, I want to repair... The Coventry. Sorry, the York. That's fine. And what do we want to do with the uh, the Dragon Rider? Well, we'll just have it sort of kinking about. We'll move it over there. Keep it on this edge. Um, and we've got a lot of this stuff to deal with now. Um, we might as well just repair them. Honestly. I mean, I have a feeling that eventually they'll probably rebel anywhere, but I'm not too worried. We'll be able to take them over quickly. What we probably want to do um, is go to a build ship. We want the Charger version 2 and we want to build four of them and those will sit probably here and then that'll be the sort of northern the northern district for reaction vessels. Uh, build building. Black Citadel 1, 2, and 87 million. Which is probably about right for the amount we've actually made over the uh, over this period. So, we now have Coventry, Coventry, and the York. I want to destroy those Clockwork Wasps, but I'm very aware 
that I'll probably end up being destroyed. Oh, we can now make suspendium cannons. Because of the amount of rockets that we're using. So, I'm gonna, you know what? I'm going <laughs> to I'm gonna leave them uh, sitting in the dirt there. Actually, can we not repair those? Repair, scrap. Uh, we'll have to wait for we've got more money to get the rest of them done. Yeah, I'm very aware that we're, we're losing most of our stuff than most of the uh, aerial hazards and um, all that sort of stuff because of... Should we intercept with a dragon rider? I don't even know what they've got. Whoa, hang on. That didn't work. I don't think it's going to make it. Um, hang on. One, two, three. Going to make it? Oh, this one did. So we got our dragon. <laughs> yes. Yes, we have. And dragons work. <laughs> Should we have a closer look at the dragon? You see there's a... A rider on there. And... Yeah. It's super quick as well. Watch the speed. And up. Oh. And, oh, we can issue ammo. Uh, we can issue orders uh, relatively quick as well. And technically, that's still there. I like the way you still get the ding ding, <laughs> like the Travadile or whatever it's called, <laughs> even though it's a dragon. I can't imagine it's sticking out the back. <laughs> anyway, that's a victory, so we're taking that over. So we'll say flight destination. Um, Stay where it is. Those can move back to... We'll move them over there, actually. And the Dragon Rider move there. So there we go. She'll move them back to there. So, I think we need to take out those Clockwork Wasps. We're going to try with the Coventries and the Orc class. I don't know if it's going to work out, but... You know what, that, that is... It's quite good because it's like a dome, so it's like a like a um, silo of some kind. Um, defense is here, that's fine. Build building, Black Citadel. I think we can build a couple of them. No, we can only build the one. So let's see what we can do with this Clockwork Wasps. I will have to make another design of a um, vessel that's not... It doesn't use high explosive because that's a problem at the moment. We're using lots and lots of explosives. Oh, there it is. I was going to say, where's the wasp nest? It's there. So I'm going to put this um, quite far back in the fog because we get um, advantages if we're in the fog. And these ones sadly can't because we need to have them fairly close in and also the turret there. So you can see they are launching these wasps, which will board and probably destroy most of the crew here. Let's see how this one works. Hopefully the Hazars can take them out. So they're going to go inside and start taking out the crew. You can hear them. Ooh, good grief. And, the, and they're still launching. So they are bored and they're probably going to take that out. I'm going to move this back over. Looks like they've launched all of their... I think they've launched all of their wasps now. They are making their way up towards the bridge. It is now out of crew and it's crunched down. And now they're taking off again. Um, flee. Flee, 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 flee. We can't take that out. So we've lost a Coventry. I thought that might be the case. We need um, actually the reacting vessels. No, because... The reacting vessels won't be able to do much because they have, um, they are primarily for boarding rather than defending against borders. That's an issue. That's just a hole in our, hole in our designs. We need to think of something else then. And we need to take out the things that come towards us. Which means flat cannon, which we don't have. Or it means Gatling. I mean, we can get flak, but I'm thinking Gatling. So, 
I'm going to leave it there. Next episode, I'm going to build another vessel. And it's just going to be Gatling. That's what it's going to be about. And it's just going to hopefully go ahead of the rest of the ships and have a wall of wall of bullets coming forward taking up the clockwork wasps that's hopefully what we're going to try and do let's see if that one works out as you can see we are well i'm pretty confident we can win the campaign now <laughs> i don't think that was a i don't think that was something that uh, we'd be terribly surprised if we couldn't but uh, the main issue is like you know taking some of the stuff out. We're trying different designs. You know I don't think we're I don't think it's the case that we can't win now. Although anything can happen, we could have, for example, this place here. This could rebel and they take the dragon riders and stuff, and then it goes all to hell. Anything like that could happen. However, um, we're in a good state now, which is good. We need to go ahead and shore up some of these areas that we've taken. Again, not massive amounts of defences, but enough to hopefully repel one or two bits. Um, and we're just going to try different designs out now and attack the Clockwork Wasps and Stone Guardians and the the, the giant spiders and things like that and the, and the bees and things like that and then take this out and then, yeah, just have some fun with it. And uh, we'll see how we go. So, next episode, miniguns. As always, we haven't enjoyed the video. Thanks very much for watching. Take care and generic partings.